Are you looking to replace a well pump? A jet pump could be exactly what you need. Jet pumps are above ground pumps that come in two types, shallow well and convertible well. A shallow well pump has one pipe on the front that pulls water from a maximum depth of 25 feet. A convertible jet pump, usually used for deeper wells, typically has two pipes on its front that pull water from up to 110 feet. One of the best and easiest ways to choose a pump is to go with the same kind you had before. If you're replacing a shallow well pump, stay with a shallow well pump. And if it's a convertible well pump, substitute it with another convertible well pump. You can also check out the performance charts on each pump's packaging to determine if the pump is rated for the depth of your well. That's also where you can find well pump specifications. Pumps come with different horsepower, voltage, and equipment. In general, higher horsepower will increase the depth you can pump from and provide more flow and pressure. It's a good idea to choose the same or higher horsepower when selecting a replacement pump. Most jet pumps are dual voltage and can be set for either 230 volt or 115 volt to match the electrical requirements. To determine your voltage, go to the breaker box and find the switch for your pump. If it's a dual switch, it's 230 volt, and if it's a single, it's 115. Additional equipment could affect how well your pump works too. When you replace your jet pump, we also recommend replacing the foot valve. Faulty foot valves will result in a pump losing its prime continuously and not pumping water, which is the most common reason for pump failure. The air tank should also be checked. Standard air tanks are around 40 PSI when the pump is idle. If an air tank becomes faulty, it can result in low pressure or the pump running continually. For deep well applications, it's essential to replace the ejector along with your pump. Not only could the existing ejector be worn out, but each model and manufacturer have a different ejector type. If you have additional questions, you can check the troubleshooting guide in the installation manual or call the toll-free helpline number, which can be found on the box. For your safety, please read and understand all instructions and warnings before installing your new pump.